I just want to let me let me see that man. I just want to sh- show you guys why I got kicked out of the game right here. This is in the first. Ha- uh, this is in the third qu- third quarter with 128 left to go in, in, in the third. And right here, you can watch. You can watch. Go back and watch. He uh, Fox barely puts his hand on uh, on Dame's hip. Okay. Incidental contact. He didn't push him or anything. He barely puts his hand on there. And they give him three free throws. Now, at half, we were down, I think, 19 to 5 in the free throws. 19 to 5. And I know that happens sometimes. But that's very frustrating when at the end of the half, at the end of the half, from what I get, 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 get told all the time, Malik drives, uh, um, Lopez comes over and goes vertical with a forearm down here. Now, from what the NBA tells me, the rule is if you go vertical, you got to have two hands up. Because Domus has his hand down here a lot, and they call him for it every time, and they always tell us, well, you got a forearm here. And they said that, that they said that tonight, they said the forearm could be here as long as it's not extended. So I don't know what the rules are in, in this situation. I need a clarification because, again, two hands up is what the rule is on verticality. But they were here, and they said Lopez could do this. That's a five-point swing. They take away the two free throws, and then Milwaukee goes down and hits a three. And to end the half at 19-5, to that's tough to deal with, especially when you're getting told different interpretations on a rule. Okay? So now I go back. They call this foul. They call this foul again on Fox. Now, again, that's, he didn't push him. They, they, they said it's, it's supposed to be incidental contact. They give him three free throws. Now, watch this. Right right here. Fox comes off a of pick and roll. The kid uh, uh, campaign. campaign hooks him. Hooks his arm. Look at, Fox's, look at Fox's arm when he spins off of this. Hooks his arm. He almost falls. No incidental contact. He hooks his arm and almost falls. And... and and there's no foul. And, and, and so, th- to me, as, as a coach, I, 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 I'm okay with, look again, boom, he almost falls. And that, that, that's, that's at the fourth quarter at the 932 mark. I'm okay as a coach because the referees are human and they're going to make mistakes. But you just hope, A, there's some sort of consistency. B, there's some sort of communication between the refs. And, and the refs tonight, they were great. They communicated with me all night. But in terms of the consistency, you guys saw it right here. Dame coming off the pick and roll and Foxy getting hooked and almost falling coming off the pick and roll. And then on top of that, if you get communication and you get some form of uh, 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 consistency in the game, okay, then you can live with some things. You can live with it. But, but, but the consistency that I see tonight wasn't, wasn't in my opinion there. And then I, 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 I don't understand the rule. If if the rule is you got to go vertical and both hands up, how can you give? How can you take away two free throws when the guy got his forearm down here? Now, if the, if if they're gonna change the rule on me and say okay, the forearm can be down here, and the other one can be up there, all right, then now I know it going forward. But that's not what the rule is because we get it called on Domus all the time, and they tell us he's got to have both hands up if you want to go vertical. That's why I got kicked out.